Hi guys and welcome back to episode number four of the Twitch chat bot system. Today we're actually going to be starting on the point system. It's not going to all be done in one video because it is quite a large thing to do. But we're just going to start looking at it now straight off. So we're going to start our new line uh, in our remote. If you can't find how to get to the remote and you've just got onto this video, you click Control R, sorry, Alt R, and it'll bring you straight to the remote menu. Alternatively, you can just click this scroll of the green dot on here and go to remote. So the first thing we want to type is we want to make a command for our points. So it displays the points that we have. So what we're going to do is we're going to do on uh, asterisk text colon text exclamation mark points colon hashtag colon open squiggly bracket. That basically means that on anyone who does text, so the star means anyone in the chat, all levels, anything, um, if they type exclamation mark points, it will do the next part. Uh, and the hashtag just represents all the channels. Uh, so basically you could have your bot connected to more than one channel and it would just work on all of them. If you don't want it to work on all of them, you just type in your channel name after the hashtag. Like that. So now what we can do is we can start our next line. So we're just going to go down to the next line. We're going to create a message. Uh, this message is going to be hashtag first. So it knows that it's going to go into all channels. Um, and then we're going to put dollar sign Nick has dollar sign read any, which basically means it's going to read a file for the points. We haven't yet created that file, but we're going to be doing that after this. Um, then we need to do points dot any, which is the name of our file. Dollar sign plus bracket hashtag comma full stop comma dollar sign nick bracket comma points bracket total points. Now this is going to read this file here, it's going to read that file and it's going to read it in a certain layout. Now the layout we do have set for the file, I'll just show you that quickly, is in fact like this. So this basically follows the same sequence as what we have set up in our remote here. So now what we're going to do is we want to start to make a command for well, we basically wanted to start making some aliases. These are basically long amounts of code which we can use and shorten them down so we don't have to type the whole thing every time we need to use it, basically. So we can type alias space minus one, add points. Now this is going to be the one which is used to add points, whether it's on a timer, whether it's um, to add points using a command or anything like that. So what we're going to use. So we're going to open bracket it uh, with the bracket, and we're going to write an if statement, which means if dollar sign one is num, so it's got to be a number. Um, if it is a number, then it can do the next statement. If it if it's not, then it's not it's not going to be valid kind of thing. So we're going to go echo two. SD and here you can basically type any message you want saying it's not a number um, alt. so this is basically a script that we that I made uh, I made most of it the majority of it I just got a little bit of help off the forums. Uh, I did two of the aliases and someone helped me with the, the last one. Now I did two of the alias aliases and someone else did the other two and then I did all of the text and join commands apart from one. So I did the large amount of this. Um, so this shouldn't, you shouldn't be able to find this anywhere else really so you guys are lucky that I've done this for you. So we're going to create the variable now for this, uh, which is, in fact, dollar sign plus bracket 
dollar sign one, comma, full stop, comma, dollar sign two, close bracket, var, which is our variable, points, it's got to be a percentage shine points, dollar sign calc, and this is going to be where it basically calculates the new points. So it's going to read the ini file. Um, and it's actually going to be at this stage where it gets created, I believe. Yeah, it is, and I've just gone slightly wrong, actually. Where were we going to create the... Where were we, where were we doing the topic up here? It needs to be for our top line of our document, which needs to be dollar sign chan I believe for our channel yeah so it's gonna list the channel first comma full stop comma then it's gonna list the nick so that is basically where we get uh, let me just find it for you that is basically where we get this from so it's gonna be channel and then the user so we can have it for different channels so like we've got Mr. Wild's World here which is another channel and we can see that motion bot is earning points in that Oceanbot does earn a lot of points because he's always in the channel, so yeah. But that doesn't really matter. He can be rank one. <laughs> right, so we'll just get our script menu back up. Um, back onto this bit up here. Uh, we do actually need to add another line into this. Which is... Oh no, we're on the right line now. Read any bracket points dot any comma percentage topic comma points bracket plus space plus sorry dollar sign one and that's going to be the calculation it's going to add the points that we select onto it so which is our dollar sign one dollar sign one is basically like an abbreviation for our amounts of points that we've got it'll make more sense soon now we can write the in any file, which hasn't been written yet. Written, yeah, not written. It's going to be point start any. And once this is created, it won't need to create again, so it's just. It just does it the first time, and then the rest of it, the time it reads off of it. So write the any file, dot any file, uh, minus n, point start any, which is the name. Percent topic, points, percent points. Remember, if there is anything you don't understand, please send me a private message or comment in the section below. I have replied to every single comment so far, I believe. And even if it's just tiny things, I'll reply to it. So we want to return the points then at the bottom. So now we can click our tick up here, which checks the brackets, and it'll put it all into the line. Now it says, we are missing a bracket on line 27, apparently. Now that is because when we did our points over here, we did forget to put the point, the closing bracket at the bottom there. And we can check the brackets and there's no error. That's good. Don't want a gap in between there, so we'll do that as well. I'm just going to save that. Um, and I don't think we should have anything yet displaying on our Twitch. We're just going to check there and see if the points command actually does do anything. It will actually do something, I believe. Oh, it does, re it does read my current points, actually. But... It's reading the file from the inny now, so it's reading any points that are in that file. Now you can adjust these points manually in the file if you want, um, but it is picking up that I have that many points, 312. Chrome TV has 312 points. So if I typed this in on a different user, it would read, read my points for someone else. If my user didn't exist, um, it wouldn't create a user because I'm not set to do that. So the next part, um, we're going to set up the next alias and then we're going to leave it up after that and we're going to leave it until the next episode, I believe, because this is starting to get a little bit long. Um, so the next alias is going to be after the first alias, so we can skip that. We want to do the same again, so alias minus one. Uh, look up points and this is where we're going to use for our displaying of our points basically. Um, so we're going to create, we're going to go in and type var percent topic all sign plus 
bracket dollar sign chan comma full stop comma dollar sign nick close bracket next line var cent points dollar dollar and then read in it so it needs to read the dot i i i n e i file uh, bracket again points dot any comma percent topic comma points close bracket then we want to return the points close bracket now if we check the brackets it should all be complete and that is all we've got time for this video guys please remember to like comment and subscribe if you want to keep following this series and you want to finish your points but I do recommend you subscribe um, we've probably got a good few more episodes out of this ready. Now I'm just gonna quickly flash this on screen just so you have some idea. This is all I've got so far of my bot. Um, so we still have quite a lot to do. I'm gonna read it out to you now. Um, we've got in the in an upcoming video after we finish the point system. Now that we will finish the point system to an extent that we can earn points just by being in the channel, but we won't be able to use the points just yet because the raffle code is going to take some time to create. Um, so we've got after the point system is done, and just before the raffle system, we'll be doing a link posting blocker, which basically means any links that are posted in the chat will be timed out for one second, which means all links will be deleted. Um, and then we're going to have it so you can permit the user to use the links. Um, so basically, they have 30 seconds to use links if you want them to use links. And that will be nickname dependent. So that is going to be quite cool for us to use. Um, we've also got the addition of points, which will be covered probably in the next, in the two videos after this, I think. We'll do that. We have... Um, we don't actually have much more to do, actually. We've got the raffle, of course, to do. The raffling system for giveaways and stuff like that. If you're a big Diablo player, which I know a lot of people are who watch these videos. Um, and I also want to do some kind of slot machine system, which I'm, I've kind of wrote, but it's, it's kind of OP at the minute. You win too much. <laughs> so we're going to fix that. I'm going to fix it up. So, thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time.